Yeah, so a friend of ours took her life. Um, and this is me trying to gather my thoughts on on that. Yeah, we we had messaged her just before it happened. Um, and we, I mean, we were always just messaging and seeing, just communicating. We used to work in the city that she was in, and that's how we became friends. We worked at the same place. Um, she was actually really close friends with my wife, more so than me. But yeah, um, and then we moved away to a new job, new city, but we still kept in contact. And we still encouraged her to visit, and we visited there. And uh, yeah, so we messaged and asked how she was, or my wife messaged and asked how she was, and she said that she's in a rough place, but she's okay. And we didn't really push it further than that, just because we know we, we don't like to push things like that. But yeah, she was in a really, really torn place. I can't understand or even pretend to understand the, the torment and I don't know, even nothingness. So, yeah, we just, I mean, we can't sleep just because we wish that she would have spoken to us. We actually had asked her just before, please come and visit us, come and stay with us. Um, just because we wanted to hang out um, and my wife wanted to spend time with her, not because we knew anything of, like that, the, the depression and, and loneliness was that bad, but just trying to be friends and it hurts us because, yeah, I mean, yeah, she was a, a human, a, a person deserving of love and, and affection and, and just being able to share her hurts. And I suppose that's what this video is about, that if you are in a place like that, try find someone to speak to. Try, try share that. And, and, and being in that place, I know, is is very difficult. Difficult is not really a word to describe it, but it's so hard to reach out and to to open up about that. And I think that's a huge problem that we have. In humanity that we are ridiculed for trying to find help that we are torn apart and broken down even more because we are just drowning and we're trying to reach out onto something solid and that breaks me yeah it's we We are all lost and broken people, and we need that ear. Someone can lend us an ear and just let us pour ourselves out and let us process it as well. Um, we know that situations can be really tough and extremely difficult, but the humans are incredibly strong and if we are reacting with kindness and a purity of heart I think that we can get through anything together and that's just what we wish that we could have gotten through that with her together and yeah just if you are struggling with suicidal thoughts or just depression and loneliness in a dark place please 
just reach out to someone it really is important and um, just try to communicate it's difficult for anyone to know the heartache and torment that you're going through if it's kept to yourself um, and I know I'm hypocritical of saying that because I keep a lot of what hurts me to myself but I'm trying not to and what I realized is what is the point what is the point of, of, of keeping it in what's the point of caring what other people think of you if you have life that's worth something and it's difficult but whether or not people ridicule you or shame you 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 are a human and you have a value and the value is not dependent on what they say or anyone says about you it's you are valuable you're priceless precious worth more than what any words could describe and that's something that I have known for a very long time since I was a child that words mean nothing they don't have a value because they are just words and we are broken humans and we say broken things from a place of brokenness so yeah I don't know just just wanted to try and gather that and I also wrote a, a poem trying to think about what the place that she was in so I'm gonna read that now and excuse me it's just I uh, yeah I can't room I can't commit it from memory water take me down just like my joy has drowned I have nothing no child no man I am who I am a shell a crack an open vase not a woman not a name my family my world only screams for my offspring so as I spring off this bridge may my wounds soak up the waves I've yearned for love I've learned none of it my child has tasted the same fate that I seek in a place so desperate so caught up in pain I give myself away I am not a woman not a name any that was yeah please reach out and Feel free to share this if you want to with anyone you know that you think might need to hear it or even, yeah, it, it doesn't matter what, what people think or say, what matters is what is real and, and, and is within you um, and the people that you surround yourself with and there is no value in having people who break you down because they are just trying to push their value up by pushing you down and uh, it's time that we all realize the true value of each human being of every one of us there is value no matter what our beliefs or whatever yeah, anyway.